Good day and welcome everyone to our news today. The source close to Charles told the Daily Mail he hoped to clear the air with Harry and iron out any issues. They said Charles was dreading a proposed meeting. It is not clear if it took place. Prince Harry returned to the UK alone at the end of June in order to unveil a Princess Diana statue with his brother at Kensington Palace on July 1st. At the time of the unveiling, Prince Charles was reportedly in Scotland. However, the source suggested the Prince of Wales had intended to travel back to London to hear their rift. Royal aides for Charles refused to confirm a meeting had taken place, but the suggestion the pair were willing to create meeting plans suggests Prince Harry is keen to heal their rift with the firm. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved to U.S. following their decision to step back as senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex sparked anger among the royal family following their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year. In addition, a string of accusations and comments have since emerged about the couple's life with the royals. He further accused the royal family of total neglect when he and his wife asked for help. In the docu series, The Me You Can See, Harry said, "I thought my family would help, but every single ask, request, warning, whatever, it is just got met with total silence, total neglect." However, experts have suggested that in recent months, Harry is keen to attend an olive branch with the firm. One way Harry has already done this is by naming his new daughter Lilibet in honor of his grandmother. Duncan Larkin told the Sun, "By choosing the childhood name of the Queen, Harry and Meghan have given their daughter the most royal of names. To many, such a specific nod to Her Majesty will be seen as the first major olive branch offered by the Sussexes since Massey. Aside, perhaps Harry and Meghan are eager to build bridges. And that brings us to the end of the news today. Hope you enjoy it. Please click the like and subscribe to our news channel for more. Thanks for listening and stay safe, everyone. Have a nice day.